up, just Aaron right here, Question Period Canada. I want to show people one of the most exciting things that happened on Monday, hoping they'll show up on Tuesday. Maybe they'll check out the channel. Canadian federal politics is getting hot, guys. Check this out. Last week, this woke Prime Minister hiked his carbon tax scam 23%, despite a majority of Canadians making him spike the hike. As we see record-smashing food bank usage across the country, farmers will pay another billion dollars into this scam, making the cost of groceries even more expensive. After eight years, this Liberal NDP government is not worth the cost or corruption. Will he finally axe the tax for farmers and food and pass Bill C-234 in its original form in next week's budget? Or is his agenda to push even more families into the food banks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Honourable Minister of Employment and Workforce Development. Mr. Speaker, I would like to know if um, members of the Conservative Party who come from Alberta have paid particular attention to what Premier Danielle Smith said about the Canada carbon rebate when she said she manages the finances of her own house and it turns out that the Canada carbon rebate gives her family more money than she puts in the price on pollution. Guess what? She lives in rural Alberta, so she gets even more, Mr. Speaker. That's the plan. I don't know what the heck they're talking about. Calgary Forest Lawn. What we'd like to know is what his next job is because after the next election, him and this carbon tax scam will be gone. Now there's six premiers that are demanding a carbon tax meeting because they all know after eight years this will be NDP government or like this carbon tax scam and not worth the cost. Why is this Prime Minister hiding? Why doesn't he show some guts, call this meeting so the premiers can tell him to shove his carbon tax where his poll numbers are in the gutter? I know, I know we've been away for a couple of weeks and we're, we're looking forward to seeing each other, but try to keep our comments as, as reasonable as possible. Uh, the Honourable Minister of Employment and Workforce Development. Mr. Speaker, it's nice to see how focused that particular MP is on me and my career. Guess what? My colleagues on this side of the aisle and me, we are focused on the people of Edmonton Centre. We're focused on Albertans. We're focused on Canadians, making sure they can pay their bills, making sure they have good jobs, making sure that we're fighting climate change, having a national school program. What they're doing is just bluff and bluster and lots of hot air. We're going to be here fighting for Canadians each and every day. It's great seeing all of you guys too. This is awesome. The Honourable Member for Haldeman Norfolk. After eight years of this Liberal NDP government, cost of living is out of control. Farmers are suffering and food has become unaffordable because of the carbon tax. Almost two million Canadians are going to the food bank every single month. Yet on April 1st, the Liberal NDP government increased the carbon tax by 23%. Will this Prime Minister stop punishing Canadians and farmers and pass Bill 234? in its original form. The Honourable Minister of Natural Resources. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I do think that it's time that the Conservative Party stop trying to mislead Canadians. The price on pollution is an effective mechanism for reducing carbon emissions, and 8 out of 10 Canadian families get more money back. A fact that was underlined by 200 economists across this country that said it is the most efficient and most effective way to reduce emissions that ensures we address affordability. And in fact, Saskatchewan Premier Scott Moe last week said he explored alternatives the carbon price, but he found they were too expensive. Well, my goodness, we've been saying that for years. The Honourable Member for Haldeman Norfolk. Canadians can't afford to live because of the carbon tax. Common sense Conservatives will axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget and stop the crime. After eight years of this Liberal NDP government, rent and mortgages have doubled. The Liberal NDP government is just not worth the cost or the corruption. Will this Prime Minister commit to immediately passing Bill 234 in its original form, cancel the carbon tax and once again make life affordable for Canadians. Yeah. Yeah. The Minister of Natural Resources. This is the fundamental problem with this remade Conservative Party where policy is based on ideology and ignores all of the facts. 200 
100 economists from across this country underlined that the price on pollution enhances affordability for those on modest incomes and addresses climate change in an effective manner. Even Scott Lowe and Daniel Smith have said that. And these folks sit on their hands, these climate-denying conservatives. It is time they listen to people who actually know what they're talking about and they should abandon their plan to simply let the planet burn. Oh, Watch all the question periods here. Come and join us. We've got a great community. It's fun. Canadian politics is wild, guys. Even if you're not Canadian, come check out our stuff. It is out of hands these days and only heating up. So come watch one of our live broadcasts. We cover all the question periods. Like I say, it's a really fun community. Great chat room, all that. It's fun. And these politics, man, it's wild. It's different than other countries. We have something special. Times are tough. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Come and watch one of the live broadcasts. It's fun.